Non vuoi quello, no? Sì, vieni, no? Ah, ok. 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 Uh, a lot of countries have uh, accepted uh, uh, capital punishment for a long time. Uh, it is an effect uh, to stop crimes. Uh, our team strongly believe that uh, we need uh, capital punishment uh, for the following reasons. Firstly, uh, capital punishment is a kind of caution to other criminals. Uh, we think uh, capital punishment uh, is a one, um, 100% uh, effective as a de deter deterrent uh, to crime because they cannot uh, commit any more crimes. In particular, capital punishment, uh, punishment uh, can protect uh, public uh, from uh, some uh, serious crimes and uh, like uh, uh, murder and uh, drug uh, traffic traffic trafficking. Mm -hmm. And secondly, uh, we think uh, the government uh, budget budget uh, is limited. It should be used used uh, in more useful ways, uh, such as like such as the public uh, facility, medical and uh, education systems. Uh, the cost uh, of setting uh, criminals um, into the prison will take uh, many dollars. Um, the government uh, has to support uh, their lives, um, pay for food, clothes, uh, and uh, accommodation. If they are the most dangerous people of the society, why we should pay for them? Now our team members will give you our perspective. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, class. As you know, in some countries, capital punishment is the most se severe sentence for those who have committed a harsh offense. However, this measure has been abolished in several nations because they have realized that it's not the best decision. So our group supports supports this trend for the following reasons. First of all, the life of the criminal cannot compensate for the crime committed. Basically, two wrong things do not make one right. In other words, it's a vital contradiction. By killing a murderer, we would become a murderer. To make this worse, statistics show that many innocent people have been executed because of an unfair trial, for example, mentally handicapped. So it is logical or fair to take that risk. Finally, it has been proven that capital punishment is not an effective measure as a deterrent. In countries where there is a capital punishment, the crime rate has not dropped. On the contrary, it, had, it has increased. So now it's Black turn to talk more about this topic. Thank you. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that we need execution of uh, serious criminals, <laughs> not just mentally ill or poor people. But the, the, the reason is the first, the improperly remove the offender from society and never do harm again to other person. And secondly, it also sends powerful warning to would-be criminals. And, um, and I know we, you will talk about the, uh, probably talk about the lack of deterrence. Like for example, uh, you can say uh, California average six execution like a year from 1952 to uh, 1967 but had twice then uh, twice the mother rate than the period from 1968 until 1998. Yeah, but it's uh, but we can say we cannot say that th this is just uh, some example, for, uh, one example, because there is some uh, mistake, like uh, like there could be another factor, uh, um, and then. 
you cannot say, uh, you cannot generalize from that small example. And uh, okay. in, in the USA, well less than 1% of murderers are executed. And it is difficult to assess the true effect of deterrence. That's uh, my opinion. And uh, according to a 1985 study by Stephen K. Rayans, uh, he said, the execution performed in the United States deters approximately 18 murders. In other words, the execution prevented 18 murderers, saved victims. So, for example, in 1981, California case known as People We Love, the convicts specially admitted that their decision not to kill hostage was motivated by fear of the death penalty. The, um, uh, in other words, the murderers decided to not to kill hostage because of the fear of death penalty. What if there were no executions or death penalty? The hostages would be die, would die. And I just just imagine that you're one of your family or friend could be the hostage, that hostage. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I fully understood your your idea, your opinion. But uh, you mentioned about serious criminals. So you you mean you meant um, it is not um, there if if we don't use that um, measure. Uh, we can't prevent that serious criminal, right? So we need an alternative. So here's an, an alternative. Uh, instead of cap capital punishment, uh, sentencing to life without parole, um, by this what I meant is giving without any opportunity being released. So um, sentence, uh, again, this is better way to avoid um, those errors that innocent people can be excused. And also, recidivism and um, revenge, which, can, uh, which you are worried about, can be avoided. So I'm going to tell you about the innocent people. The, um, innocent, innocent people have, that, have died. Um, there were 139 wrongly convicted people in, um, in that Innocent people were executed, and then they, their innocence finally was revealed after they were there in the grave. If they had been the, in the prison, they would have been able to be released because they are innocent. And also, capital punishment is also uh, is is killing killing human, even though they are criminals. There is no right to kill a human in any ways. So I think this alternative response to your question. Thanks. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I want to respond to uh, the uh, uh, argument of this group. Uh, what stories mentioned before that, uh, before is that um, capital punishment has 100% effect, but in fact, uh, it's, uh, it's not effective. Um, I will give you some evidence to support my argument. Uh, let's look. Uh, let's look at this map. As you can see, the color of Australia is brighter than the color of United States. Um, according to um, some studies. Um, have uh, reviewed the shock shocking trust that um, execution actually increase uh, the homicide rate. Uh, this means capital punishment doesn't deter violent crime. Um, more, more interestingly, according to a New York Times study, in the last 20 years, uh, the Homicide rate, uh, rate in uh, states with capital punishment was 48 percent. 
uh, compared to 23% in states without capital punishment. Uh, in addition, um, certainly uh, says that um, government in the world uh, spend a lot of money supporting um, the life of prisoners. Uh, but uh, a um, number of uh, studies claim that in United States, capital punishment costs from arrest to execution are extremely high. Um, every year, Australian government must spend from $1 million to $7 million to uh, support to, uh, supporting capital punishment compared with uh, life in prison imprisonment. Uh, cost which only around five hundred thousand dollars every year. So in short, it's obvious that capital punishment doesn't help to reduce uh, the crime rate and make our society safer. Capital punishment is unnecessary. Uh, actually, the, the, the statistics speak themselves. When you mentioned about that, like uh, there is uh, in the United States, the rate of criminals or the crimes raise as a result of uh, applying uh, execution, uh, it's totally wrong. Because just like mentioning US itself, just as one example, is not fair. There is too many nations in this world, and we have to take it into account. For example, in the, U in the UK, one study says that 26% there is there there, there is 20% uh, uh, reduce in the 